Hey, and welcome, Impatient Entrepreneurs. This is Jumpstart Jim, and I wanted to come back at you with a... I just got it off the phone with a client. Uh, now, this is a client who's actually worked with me off and on for, for many years. Uh, and again, in the service industry. I prefer service industry people, authors, coaches, people who are launching businesses that provide services. Um, there's a struggle within the uh, accounting world, financial planning world, chiropractors. Uh, and the struggle is that you get called with a bunch of sales reps, marketing reps offering you... Now, advertise on our website or in our magazine, or we'll put you in this special and that special. And uh, and I'm fine with the marketing. I'm fine with getting the word out. That's not the problem so much as the professional, the sales professional, then says, well, I don't want to deal with it. So uh, just let them be creative and let them design the ad. So the marketing director just called me up and said, um, <laughs> it was basically the same ad as last year. That, did, that got zero hits on their website, by the way. Zero for a year. And this is a very heavily trafficked website. Um, but the ad got zero. The reason is because the ad was not very creative, was not a direct response ad. It was a kind of ad that says, hi, this is my business. Click here. Which wasn't anything that was going to attract any attention whatsoever. Uh, without getting into it or giving away the ad, uh, ultimately it comes down to the sales rep is going to do whatever he needs to, to, he or she needs to, to make the sale. Now, you cannot expect the sales rep or even their marketing department to be creative for you. When you consider creative, they can put the ad together and it looks nice, but that does not mean they understand what words to use to entice someone to click on that ad or to call you from the, the print ad, let's say. You need to understand that these people might have been selling hair care products a month or two ago and waiting tables a year ago. They're, that is not their responsibility. They are not trained copywriters. You have to take responsibility for this. So please don't hand over your advertising to the sales rep who's calling you up and trying to make a sale. When he hangs up with you, he's, he's just high-fiving the guy in the cubicle next to him, hands it off to the art department, and doesn't say a word pretty much. Pay attention to your ad. Make something happen for yourself. Take responsibility for your own business. Do not assume that someone, just because they work for a, a big company, don't assume that they have the creative capabilities to create an ad for you that is going to get a response. You can figure that out. If not, figure, take some copywriting lessons. Find something. Look, let me give you the best hint for copywriting. Go to the grocery store aisle. Stand at the cashier, look to your left or your right, and what do you typically see? A bunch of magazines. The best way to figure out how to write an ad is usually those magazines have five to seven word headlines. Those are the kind of headlines, whether it be People Magazine, Time Magazine, the National Enquirer, whatever it is, those headlines are written by professionals that know how to get your attention, get you to hopefully open up that magazine, and while you're standing at the grocery store aisle, you typically purchase them. So some of those headlines, one of the best copywriting secrets I can offer you is look to your left or right at the grocery store checkout, read those headlines and see how you can adapt them for yourself. Do not let your sales rep or ad rep, unless they're a professional copywriter or a direct response writer and you're in the service business, do not hand it off to someone else and expect that they're going to do anything for you other than high five, move on to the next salesperson. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.